Welcome to my channel, Internet. Glad to have you. My name is Travis Nielsen. This is Dev Tips for Designers, a place where we talk about how to make the Internet go. You're watching the fifth video in a series I call HTML5 Basics. Previously, we've talked about the history, physiology, philosophy, and anatomy of HTML5. In the video previous to this, we talked about how to build an HTML tag and discuss some of the most common HTML tags. So if you haven't watched those videos, I recommend that you do. They lay a great foundation for today's topic. However, they're not required for you to understand what we're talking about. You should watch them because I said so, and I'm the boss of you. So in this video, we're gonna talk about something inherent to HTML tags, display types. Display types define how the tags will behave when they're rendered in the browser. Now we can change this behavior any time with style sheets, but it's important to know the default behavior of the specific tags that we're gonna use. There are a lot of different types, but we're gonna concern ourselves mainly with three display styles today. The first type of element we're gonna discuss is block level elements. So a block level element, I write these here, is a, uh, they call them block level elements because they kind of just act like you would expect a big, it's an O, <laughs> this is harder than it looks. They're uh, big blocks <laughs> and they start, um, they start new lines whenever you make a new block level. Inherent in this structural idea is that the block level elements create larger structures than inline elements. Block level elements may contain inline elements and other block level elements. An example of that is a, uh, a p tag. This <laughs> so, so stupid. An example of that is this p tag here which forces the layout to separate the paragraph so that the newest paragraph will start on the next line under in the layout, or in other words, the next block. Check out the notes below for a link to a list of all of the block level elements in HTML. The next type of element is called in, I don't want to it for you, in a line. Oh, this one smells like cherries. Inline. Inline elements contain only data and other inline elements, whereas block level elements are larger structures that contain all kinds of crap. By default, inline elements do not create a new line when rendered in the browser. An example of this would be uh, an A tag inside of your paragraph where the A creates a link or a hyperlink inside of the paragraph, but it doesn't create a new line or a new paragraph or a new block. It just sits in line. <laughs> when we get to styling our websites, we'll take a note that inline elements cannot take width, height, margin, or padding styles. Interesting. Okay, the last display type I'm gonna talk about today is called line hyphen this one smells like trees in line block that's an L and that's a C you must destroy them. the last uh, <laughs> Okay, so this one's called inline block. Inline block is a strange but handy one. They sit in line with the content similar to an inline display type, but they can have the characteristics of a block, meaning that they can have proportion, width, height, they can have padding and margin, but it sits in line adjacent to other content. There's only two tags that have inline block as their default display type. That's images and buttons. But remember that as we'll show later on with CSS, we can turn any type into any, this is an arrow, any other one that we want with the magic of styling. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. 
Now there are other display types that have their little display quirks, things like display table and even display none. And there are also a lot of interesting options on the horizon with CSS3 right now. But today we just want to talk about how the default HTML tags carry certain display types by default of block, inline, or inline block. Now because this is such a strange video, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I've included links down below in the description. It'll give you a better idea of what we're talking about. Please read through those and get familiar with this idea of default display types. And again, at this point, you should be trying to use these things on your own. The only way to get good at codes is to make codes, and to make a lot of codes. All right, that's it. But uh, check out the videos that came before this for a little bit more context. This is a series of videos I call HTML5 Basics. They'll give you a great foundation for what, the, what, all, what all this was. Hopefully. Next week we're going to take a look at specific tags that are new to HTML5 and they are exciting and probably what you've been waiting for. So if you've had fun watching this video if you, or even if you've hated it, uh, probably, I don't know, uh, don't be shy. Leave some comments down below. I promise I read every one. I'm just looking for feedback on the format of this channel. Uh, I'm just playing it by ear as I go. Deciding to write on my face happened two minutes ago and I don't, I don't know. I doubt that I'll ever do this again. Or maybe next time I'll use chocolate. And as always, if you haven't yet, please share and... When you subscribe to my channel and it ain't looking good, where you gonna watch Dev Tips for Designers? Um, who you gonna call?